Wait a minute. This isn't a 660 NJ video or a Creep20 video. Also, who has numbers in their name? I mean, if I had numbers in my username, then I would honestly put 007 for obvious reasons why. But hey guys, it's Rackle Rowlett here. And today, we're going to talk about this everyone's, well, I don't know. Uh, 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 I don't know, what, what, do pe what do people even think of this plant? I don't know, I'll check the votes later, but we're going to look at Colonel Polt. Because, why not? He's kind of cool. And, um, everyone seems to be doing these, um, videos, like, about, you know, just some plants and talk about the reasons about why it's that or not. And, I mean, even the Red Games guy's doing it himself, so, yeah. But anyways, let's start the video right now. Now, the, the design of Colonel Pult is pretty cool, but... There's something about the eyebrows that just look kind of funny. It's like the rock, basically. Well, I don't know why, but the the thing, you know, that holds the corn, kind of looks like the Angry Birds nest. But I'm glad they gave him eyebrows, actually. Oh, and oh yeah, he's also um a, a sibling. He has siblings. He's the oldest. He, he, he's brothers with a melon and a cabbage. What? Unfortunately, people don't like using this plant because of his weak damage. Pea Shooter can actually deal two times more damage than him, pretty much. Jeez. People would only really use Colonel Pulp for pretty much Cobb Cannon, since Cobb Cannon deals pretty good damage and, like, it just literally just nukes the damn zombies. And it's really good in PvZ1. Although Banana Notch is kind of outclassed in PZ2, explained by this YouTuber, but, um, hey. I guess Colonel Corn loses again. Not even his ultimate form can save him. <laughs> but wait, it's not over. In fact, Colonel Polk got buffed in PZ2. And Colonel Polk is actually better, and I'll show you why. Alright, let's start with the pros. Its damage has a glow up, especially the butter damage. It can insta-kill seagull zombie, its speedy variant, parrot zombie, and that annoying bug from Lost City. The sun cost of Colonel Pult is amazing. I find it very useful in last stand levels, so yeah. Colonel Pult's plant food is a nice alternative to iceberg lettuce plant food. And the strategies you can make with this plant is amazing, because it's so cheap, and, well, my favourite strategy I would say with Colonel Pult is with Coconut Cannon, I think it makes a, um, good strategy. I'll show you a gameplay of it, for a good example, and yeah, enjoy the awesome combo. Alright, cringe Colonel Pulp flex done. Now I need to show you the cons of Colonel Pulp because he's actually not the best plant ever. Even though I explained to you why he's actually the best plant. But anyways, let's get to the cons. <laughs> now let me tell you something. Colonel Pulp is absolutely terrible at, at doing damage. Well, I know I said he got buffed, but I mean... He's just bad at doing damage, really, if it's just him. I mean, the Colonel Pult is more like a stalling plant that could deal damage. But, I mean, he's not really good at being a main attacker. He's pretty awful, actually. I mean, the only reason I would use him is really just for the butter and his plant food. 
But yeah, don't use him as a main attacker. It's not great. Like, you should bring another attacker plant if you're going to use him. But I mean, um, j just use Sapling. But um, yeah, that's that's one of the worst of Colonel Pult. Now, the other bad thing about Colonel Pult is these RNG. I uh, don't always count RNG in this game. RNG will always not be in your side, trust me. Sometimes it's darn, it's good, and sometimes the RNG is just bad. But so yeah, those are the two really, really bad cons of Colonel Pulp. And is Colonel Pulp classed? Well, without I'm not gonna count arena plants, but yeah, he is quite outclassed by Sapfling and maybe Snoopy. Uh, to be honest, I don't think Snoopy is actually that powerful. But I mean, it did get buffed, but I don't know. I feel like Colonel Pulp is actually better. But, yeah. What is that? I don't want to talk about the PvZ3 one. It is stupid. Like, also, Colonel Pult has been nerfed in PvZ3, like, so badly. Well, at least the old version. And there's also that weird camera corn thing. Uh, what is? What even is that? But, you know what? I'm going to move on to the cooler things about Colonel Pult. Well, let's hit the music now, since the music was actually quite silent. Colonel Pult is actually in Lil Big Planet 3 as a costume, which is pretty cool. He has the most costumes in PvZ2, tied in with Bog Joy having 6 costumes. Wow, that's a lot. Oh, and last but not least, in the Chinese version of Planet of Zombies 2, when he levels up to level 2, HE SHOOTS FREAKING ROCKETS! Well guys, that's it for today. If you guys like these dumb um, things about these plants I just talked about, if you enjoy them, I'll do Coconut Cannon next, so yeah. And well, goodbye guys. You know, just get out of here please.